Hi guys. So, a couple of people had asked for um, a Minecraft um, frames per second test with the Lenovo Y50. Um, so I thought that I would do that now. Um, this is a uh, the latest snapshot, by the way, um, at least as of today when I uh, recorded the video. So let's go ahead and get started and check out our options, video settings. Let's push this guy up to 16 chunks and just see how it performs under that render distance. And uh, I also have the V-Sync turned off so that um, Minecraft doesn't limit the amount of frames uh, that are rendered or drawn or whatever the right word is for that. Um, I think everything else is um, set to the defaults. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's go ahead and create a new world. And we'll call it uh, FPS test. And we'll go ahead and add the FPS test as a seed as well. So let's uh, create the world. And then as soon as the uh, terrain gets done building and we're in, I'll pop up the debug uh, menu so that we can see the uh, frames per second that are being drawn. So after our hard uh, leg breaking land, um, let's get this up. So keep in mind we're at um, 16 chunks as a render distance. And, um, you know, it might still be drawing some chunks here, as you can see in the, off in the distance there. But even at 16 chunks, it looks like we might be steadily staying above, um, you know, 30 frames per second at least, as I fall into a pit. All right, so let's um, let's keep moving. And I've noticed through some of my Minecraft gameplay uh, when I'm not recording that frame rates tend to drop when you enter trees. That kind of like what just happened there. You had a frame rate spike. It looked like. So I think to get a good measure, at least of the 16 chunks, um, you know, we'll head over towards this big area of trees and see what kind of uh, frame rates we get. I'm going to keep moving as much as I can so that those chunks off in the distance that haven't rendered yet kind of, you know, we're forcing them to generate, I guess. So I would say even at the max uh, 16 chunks, this is doing really well. Um, as you'll see, we get the occasional burp, and uh, it lags for, now, well, there was a good example. But I think all in all, it's not bad. It's probably playable. You know, and uh, the screen recording software is one thing to keep in mind, too. Um, if we weren't using screen recording software, this may play perfectly. So <clears throat> I, I would like to uh, pull it down to a 12 chunk render distance and see if we get any kind of improvement. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Now the only thing I will say is that instead of just coming straight in here and changing it to 12, um, I'll go ahead and do that now so that it remembers it, but I'm going to go ahead and quit and delete this and actually create that same world again. That's why I used the seed earlier. Um, 
the reason for that is I'm afraid that if I start with a 16 chunk render distance and then just reduce it down to 12 as we're playing on the same map that a lot of those chunks have already been rendered and we may not get the true test. So let's go ahead and hop back into that same world at a 12 chunk render distance and I'll try to kind of walk in that same direction and um, you know see if we get any improvement. Oops, let's pull the debug menu back up. So just reducing it down to um, a 12 chunk render distance. Um, you know, at least not being in the trees, it looks like we're in between 50 and 60 frames per second. Now, when we get into the trees, I'm assuming that's without a doubt going to change. So I believe I went over this direction when I was doing the uh, 16 chunk render distance, so that's where I'm going to go. Don't quote me on that, though. It's pretty easy to uh, get turned around in the beautiful world of Minecraft. So, even at 12 chunks, I still see an occasional um, frame lag spike, but by far this is much, much better. And I'll probably sound like a broken record, but again, without screen recording software, I can imagine that this is probably flawless to play on. Now, if you've played Minecraft before, you're probably well aware of the fact that, you know, if the frames, if the frame rates are decent on the overworld or whatever it's called that we're in right now, that the nether is typically way worse. Um, I can't show you that right now only because this is a brand new game and we don't have any portals yet. And I suppose I could have done this in creative mode, but I still think it'll get the point across. There, we had some lag spikes there. You know, and this is all during chunk generation two. Um, another thing to keep in mind too is Minecraft is not necessarily a uh, like a modern game that pretty much mostly maybe relies on the uh, video card performance. Um, this has a lot to do with processor performance too. Um, so maybe it'll be a good measure of the Y50 playing Minecraft overall. Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty happy with uh, the 12 chunk. Um, I am going to do one more. I'll drop it down to 10 and then uh, we'll probably call that a video. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll drop it down to 10 first. That way when we start the new map, it'll just be a 10. So let's get rid of this again. Let's create the new world. PS test. Same seed. Okay. So we're roughly in the same spawn location. There's our trees where we head every time. Let's turn our debug menu back on. And let's see how the Y50 handles a 10 chunk render distance. Already a lag spike. Part of me thinks too that when the music or um, some audio clips play that you get some lag spikes, but I can't confirm or deny that.
<laughs> I'm not really sure. I mean, it almost seems like the 12 chunk render distance did better. <laughs> but let's keep walking and see what we see. if I was going to say any kind of reaction at all, but I guess it seems like the 10 chunk render distance has more a uh, of a consistent higher rate, although it's still not, I would say, 100% perfect. It kind of surprises me a little. Giant ravine. Can hear some zombies off in the distance. Well, I will venture to say that the uh, ten chunk render distance is more than playable and I think again without the video recording software that 12 chunks would also be more than playable and if you can live with a lag spike here and there due to chunk generation um, then I would even venture to say that the uh, 16 chunk rendering distance is even perfectly fine so I'll leave it here and um, we'll see you guys in the next video um, also, feel free to comment and uh, make sure to leave some likes and let me know if you have any other suggestions uh, for frame rates and, you know, if I have the game, um, I'll see what I can do. Um, so, until then, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.